Angelman syndrome is caused by the loss of function of a single gene, UBE3A, on chromosome 15, which is vital to how the brain controls speech, movement, and learning. The UBE3A gene codes for UBE3A protein, which tags other proteins in our cells for recycling in a process called ubiquitination. In our central nervous system, only our mother's copy of the UBE3A gene is expressed or active. The copy inherited from our father is silenced by a mechanism called the antisense transcript, where neurons manufacture a strand of long, non-coding RNA called the UBE3A ATS that is positioned on top of the functional paternal UBE3A gene, which results in it being silenced. The UBE3A antisense transcript prematurely terminates the reading of the paternal copy of the UBE3A gene, resulting in a failure of paternal UBE3A protein production. Research funded by FAST is investigating a promising strategy that uses a technology called an antisense oligonucleotide, or ASO, a mixture of DNA and RNA designed to bind the RNA of the UBE3A antisense transcript in an exact location to unsilence the paternal copy of the UBE3A gene. The ASO's sequence of RNA and DNA bases is arranged in a complementary order to the RNA, inhibiting the imprint. The ASO preparation is administered through a lumbar puncture into the spinal fluid. The drug travels through cerebrospinal fluid and flows into fluid-filled structures within the brain and spinal cord to affect the neurons of the central nervous system. Through a process called endocytosis, the ASO's enter neurons of the brain and spinal cord and then move to the cell nucleus to engage the chromatin. Large structures composed of tightly wound and packaged DNA. Because the ASO's sequence is complementary to the UBE3A antisense transcript, it can bind to that precise segment and form two complementary strands, which results in cleavage through the RNAase degradation. Naturally occurring cellular enzymes aid in the ASO's bonding to and degrading the RNA molecule that is blocking gene transcription inhibiting the imprint and activating the paternal copy of the gene. Released from blockage, the now bioavailable paternal UBE3A gene is available to be transcribed into mRNA, which then threads into protein manufacturing ribosomes. Ribosomes build functional paternal copies of the UBE3A protein to replace the non-functional or missing maternal supply, and recovery of proper neuronal function can hopefully begin. These research strategies and others have demonstrated positive outcomes in animal models of Angelman syndrome. Two of these strategies are now in human clinical trials in 2020, as we march ever closer to curing Angelman syndrome.